My name is Tony Bones. Um, I'm one of the founders of Missouri and Kansas uh, chapter of Cop Block. Um, this winter, while making breakfast uh, for my family, I noticed that there were heavily armed men with bulletproof vests on, combing through my neighbor's yards, and even going as far as to peeking in windows. I was then informed that I must remove my tires that were in my yard because I had intended to use them as planters um, to spring to become more self-sufficient and attempt to grow my own food uh, for my family. So really, I mean, who is the criminal? Who is a threat to society? Me, a single mom trying to grow food in her front yard who's hurting nobody? Or people that are kidnapping, caging, and stealing from peaceful people? You have reached the Sugar Creek Police and Fire Department. Yeah, I want to let you know I'm recording this call for my records, but I was hoping to talk to either Herb Soul or Jerry Garcia, if they're available. Okay, Jerry's gone for the day. He leaves at 2, and Herb is the chief, and he is off on holidays. Is there someone that's uh, like a shift supervisor that I could talk with, please? Certainly. Hold on just a second. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I want to let you know I'm recording this call from a records. I was just calling to follow up on a, a story that I heard that's going on in, in uh, Sugar Creek and hoping to get some comment. And uh, who are you with? Uh, well, I'm just calling on behalf of myself. I, I blog uh, at, at some websites on long, online, but I, I just wanted to call and try to get some comment from somebody that works at Sugar Creek PD. And I heard that uh, Mr. Soul and Mr. Garcia w weren't around right now, H hence I was passed along to you. Okay, well, I appreciate that, but I apologize and inform you that we are unable to give any of that information out. Um, if you were to get that information, be from our chief of police who's not in today, or you'd have to come and ask for a report uh, from the police department. Okay, but you don't, so as far as you know, like the, the threat levied against that lady still exists, like it hasn't been dropped or anything? I can't say yes or no one way or another. Okay, but are you familiar with the situation at all? I think uh, most of the metro area is. Do you have any thoughts based on, I guess, what you've seen? I do not. No thoughts? None at all. Just doing your job or what? I can't say one way or another. All right, well. I'm not I, I'm, going to speak on the topic. I appreciate the phone call, okay? Yeah, I appreciate your time. I just encourage you if you, do have, if you do have some time to look into it and you don't think it makes sense that resources are allocated to targeting that lady, that you might have a conversation with your colleagues and. What not? Thank you. All right, be well. So July 9th, 2013 at 6.30 p.m., I'm going to trial for having tires. I was turning into planters in my yard. If we are too intimidated and conditioned to stand up and say something as simple as, hey, you know, this is wrong. I'm a peaceful person. I've not done anything wrong. I've not harmed anyone. Then we are all going to have some really serious uh, explaining and apologizing to the to our children and future generations for that matter. And I will not be taking the plea deal.